Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number seven in the series of 15 on the topic of work time problems. Work time problems, seventh month out of 15, and today is our lesson number 132. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that faucet A, faucet A can fill up a pool in seven hours. We are told that the faucet B can fill up the same swimming pool in five hours. The question simply is, how long will it take them working together at their constant paces to fill up the pool? That's what it is. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Well, if this guy can fill up the swimming pool in seven hours, if faucet B also took seven hours, if faucet B also took seven hours, if they both took seven hours, then in three and a half hours, he can fill up half the pool in the same three and a half hours. He can fill the swimming pool in uh, half the swimming pool in three and a half hours. In three and a half an hour, three and a half hours, they can fill up the swimming pool together. Which means it tells us the correct answer, whatever it is here, cannot be three and a half or more. It cannot possibly take three and a half hours or more because this guy does not take seven hours. He takes only five hours. He takes only five hours, which means it's going to take less than three and a half hours to fill up half the swimming pool. Do you understand? The total amount of time cannot be three and a half hours or more. Answer cannot be C, D, or E. Now we look at this guy. This guy takes five hours. If this guy also took five hours, if this guy also took five hours, working together they should be able to fill up the swimming pool in two and a half hours. Working together they should be able to fill up the swimming pool in two and a half hours. That's the best case scenario. But of course, this guy does not take five hours, or oh, sorry, this guy does not take five hours, he takes seven hours. So obviously, it's going to take something more than two and a half hours. Something more than two and a half hours. They cannot possibly fill up the swimming pool in two and a half hours or less. If you find an answer choice that is equal to two and a half or less than two and a half, it's wrong. Answer cannot be A. The answer is C. The answer is B. Let's do it together if you like, okay? Let's do it together now. 7 hours and 5 hours, we are looking for the smallest number that is a multiple of both 7 and 5. The smallest number that is both multiple of 7 and 5, least common multiplier here of 7 and 5 is 35. 35 here is the magic number. A, A can do how many jobs? He takes 7 hours to do the job. A can do 5 jobs. A can do 5 jobs in 35 hours. Similarly, B can do, well, B takes 5 hours. If you give him 35 hours, he should be able to do 7 jobs. 7 jobs in, it should say approximately. I left it out by mistake. It should say approximately in 35 hours. They should be able to do 12 jobs, 12 jobs in 35 hours, 12 jobs in 35 hours. Therefore, they should be able to do 1 job. They should be able to do 1 job in 35, 35 over 12, 35 over 12 is the same as 2 and 11, 12. Or if you like, or if you like, 35 over 12 is approximately 36 over 12. And that's 3. That's 3. Approximately how long it will take them? The answer is 3 hours. It should not take them more than that. It will take, uh, take them approximately 3 hours to finish the job together, working together. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.